Welcome back to the Grim Workshop Trapping School. Today we're going to be learning how to set the Paiute Deadfall Trap found on the Jamie Brule signature card as well as a slight variation found on the Jordan Jonas version 1 card. So the Paiute Deadfall component that's included on either of these cards is just the trigger and there is quite a few other components that you're going to have to fabricate in the field. Now the Paiute Deadfall is a very effective deadfall trap and because it is so effective that means it's very sensitive or it can be set very sensitive. So as you're setting this trap there's a very very good chance that you're going to set this trap off on your hands accidentally. I can almost guarantee you're going to set this trap off on your hands accidentally. So when you choose your deadfall weight I would choose a lighter weight than you would actually intend to trap with while you're practicing. And once you set it a couple times and become more comfortable with it, then you can step your weight up until you get to a comfortable range for the intended target animal. Now, with any deadfall trap, the weight of the deadfall trap is going to have to be five times higher than your target animal. So with that five to one ratio, if you're targeting a one pound squirrel, you're going to need a five pound deadfall weight you're targeting a larger possum or a smaller raccoon, something in the 10 pound range, that's a 50 pound deadfall. So that is definitely not something you want to drop on your hands repeatedly. So definitely practice on this trap with a smaller weight than what you intend to use in the field. Here's a bench model of the Paiute deadfall and for a deadfall weight I've got a patio stone. So as far as trap components I have an upright component right here. I've got my 45, there's a small piece of cordage, here is the toggle, and this is the trigger pin or the bait pin right here. And this is a very sensitive trap, you can set this thing off with a feather. So you can see how effective that is, you're just setting it off with a light feather touch. And of all the components used on the trap, the toggle is what is going to be coming off a card. So here's the toggle off of the Jamie Brule card. And the advantage to this is that it's so smooth. When that stick is touching this metal, it just comes off with just the slightest bit of pressure. So because that height's going to be variable, if you're making this up in camp before you know the deadfall or the deadfall location, I like to make my first piece, my upright, a little bit longer. In this case, I know what I'm dealing with. So I'm going to make it about the width of my hand plus my thumb. So I'm going to take a little mark here, and I'm going to saw it off using the signature card from Jamie Brule. So this upright piece, I wanted a 45, and traditionally I would just cut it flat and then take my knife and just make a quick 45 cut. To save myself a step, I just used that saw and cut it off at a 45 degree angle. And I was kind of rushing through the cut, so I broke it back and forth to kind of score it and came at it from another side. So I left a little bit of high fiber here. I used the rock just because it was abrasive and it was there, just to kind of dress the end up a little bit and make it a little more smooth. There is a file on the Jamie Brule card, and that's exactly what that's for. You can file down bearing surfaces, and it does a, a better job than that rock. but you just want a good solid surface for the two sticks to join. So here's my upright, and I'm gonna give myself about two fingers to capture the deadfall weight. You don't want it right on the end, you want a little bit of leverage. And just from experience, I'm gonna go about two hand widths across. So that should be about, oh, in the eight to nine inch range. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that, and just cut this flat. So now I'm going to go about two fingers over from the top and mark that and I'm going to make a 45. So to make this cut, I'm just going to go straight down with the saw and I'm going to come in at an angle and meet about a third of the way through. You don't want this first cut to go past the center line of the stick or you're just losing way too much strength.
Now on the back side here, usually I make a small little score just to, for the string to grab a hold of the stick. So I would like to use some finer braid and actually go through this hole, but I don't think you'd be able to see it that well. So what I've got is some orange paracord here. I'm just gonna attach this to the toggle using a clove hitch. So the knot doesn't matter a whole lot. You just want it to be secured on here. A kind of a clove hitch is kind of my go-to. And if I was using smaller line like a braided fishing line or a thinner bank line or if I wanted to pull some of the inner strands of this paracord out I would just go right through that hole and my life would be a lot easier. So this is the 45 on our Paiute deadfall. So this has the L7 trigger and this has my notch along the bottom for the cordage. And this would look a lot neater if I was using a bushcraft knife but I just wanted to use the card for the whole process on this trap. So this line is going to get tied here, but we don't quite know the length yet. So this is going to go around our upright. And if it's too long, if this rope is too long, our 45 is going to be closer to a 90. And that's just not as strong. And if it's too far back, again, we're losing strength. So we're looking for that classic 45 degree angle of a figure four trap where it's going to be as strong as possible. So a pretty good starting point is going to be about as long as the trap is. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit, put the knot right at the end of the stick. And I'm just going to put another clove hitch on this for now. This is going to be temporary. And I might get lucky and get it the first time, but probably not. Now the last thing we're going to need, assuming you've got your deadfall weight, is going to be the bait pen. Now the bait pen rest against something on the rock or the log or whatever your deadfall weight is. So you're going to need a variable length. So the best thing to get is a stick that's maybe the size of a pencil that's as long as your deadfall weight is. And you're just going to mark it and cut it in the field once you get it set. So here's my upright. And here's my 45 with the toggle on it. And you're going to preload it kind of like this. And what I like to do is just hold my fingers over the end and that keeps it from slipping off each side. Now we're going to get our weight up and kind of get it settled a little bit and I'll show you how the toggle wraps around. So this is way too long on my string. This is the angle I want and you see how much string I've got. So the toggle wraps around the stick and I want it to hook about like this. So I've got, oh, I've got to cut maybe three inches off this line. So now with this as a lever, I'm holding all the weight kind of my back hand and I can wrap this around and it's going to go underneath the front line. So kind of like this. Now it wants to roll off. So what I'm going to do is just flatten this top edge. It's just wanting to walk back and forth a little bit. So flatten it is going to Give it a little place to sit. So I'm going to use that file and just flatten this a little bit.
So I've got to find something right now to use for a trigger stick. And this is actually what I do in the field. I just grab whatever I can find. And I'm looking for some kind of little notch or imperfection in this stone that's going to catch. And it doesn't feel like, feels like right there is going to work. So I'm going to mark this with my thumb. I'm going to go ahead and lower the trap. And I'm going to cut it off right here. So right now my hands are free. I'm going to go around the trap. Now this bait pen, you would you would bait back here, and you would bait this before before you set it. And I'm just kind of looking for some kind of imperfection that's going to hold this trap up. There we go. So this is an ideal. I would like this down a little bit more. So to correct that, I would just shorten this line. So the toggle's just got a little bit of contact right here, and that is really the only thing holding this trap up. And back around here somewhere, this is where I would skewer a piece of bait, whatever I happen to be using. And an animal is just going to come along, trip that, and down it goes. So the Paiute Deadfall should be in any primitive trapper's arsenal. It is a great trap, especially for micro trapping. If you're trapping mice and chipmunks and small birds, even if it's not something you really intend to eat, it makes great bait for the next trap. So you can take components off your card, use the saw on the card, make the whole thing from scratch. That is a great skill to know. And if you're properly equipped and you've got a belt knife with you or a pocket knife, you're able to do this a whole lot faster and it's going to look a lot neater, but it's going to be just as effective as this model right here.